Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instructions on completing the task at hand. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. On my buddy's 850 here, it has a common problem, and that is when you lock the doors, the rear hatch is not locking. So we're going to troubleshoot it and try to get it fixed real quick. Now the most common problem when you have this issue is the wiring harness that runs through the hinge area. Uh, the wire harness runs up through here and over the years of the wires bending back and forth, they get a uh, break in the wires and they make contact sometime and sometime they don't. As you can see the wiring harness coming down through here, we're going to go ahead and pull this trim down and test the wires with an ohm meter. Okay, the harness that runs through there probably has about 15 wires going through there, but we pulled the panel off of this because it needed the clips fixed. And when we look at the latching mechanism, there's about seven wires there that make up that latching mechanism. So those are the ones that we're going to test for continuity see if we can find any of those broken with the latch open and then again closed. No. So the first thing we do is we take these two plugs out on either side, remove those screws, lower this uh, panel down, then disconnect this light assembly here. When you pull this panel down, pull the forward end down. It has pop loose clips. The back end, you really need to use a clip puller if you don't they're all going to break like this one did. Every mount broke. None of the clips pulled out. Just so brittle. And then be careful. Somebody probably broke that before. Next, you go ahead and unplug the light. Next, you got to pull that screw out from up there, T25, and then work this trim off. But be real careful because it's, it's fragile as well. Okay, I'm going to let that trim lay like that with those clips pop loose so that... I don't break it, and since this vehicle has a third row seat, it'll be hard to get it all the way off. Nonetheless, here's your main plug for all of the wires going into the hatch. The wires come up from the floor to this plug here, and then up through this curve into the tailgate. So the suspect is that there's broken wires in this joint somewhere. So we need to test these wires from here to where they end. Okay, back at the latch mechanism, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug that so I can have easy access to that there. And I'll back probe the other uh, connection there. Okay, now I'm gonna check these wires one by one over to the plug on the other side, just following the colors and probing them. And I have my ohm meter set to ohms so I could just read uh, settings and see if we can find a broken wire. Okay, so we checked all the wires. All the wires checked out good. So I threw the latch here with a screwdriver and we operated the door with the key and it did not lock and unlock the other doors. So I suspect that we actually have a bad latch, the electrical portion. On my vehicle, even though mine doesn't lock and unlock all the time, when I use the key on the back, it does lock and unlock the rest of the car. Well, uh... Now, another thing you got to realize is that these rear hatch latch has a child safety lock type of latch. In this position, it's locked. In this position, it's unlocked. So you got to make sure that that's not deactivating your latch as well. Since the wire is checked out, next we're going to pull the latch apart and see if we can find any broken parts within the latch. So, if you look at the inside latch assembly, first thing you do is pull these two 10 millimeter bolts on either side of the hand mechanism. Next, you need to take the little arm levers out of their holders and carefully remove them make a note of which holes they go into in the actual latch assembly. Once you have the actuating rods removed and tucked aside, 
you want to go ahead and remove these three uh, T40s that secure the latch into the rear hatch. Pull the latch out and pull it apart and you can see that the actuator has actually been dissected. So somebody knew they were having problems with this latch, they took it apart and didn't put it back together right. So we're going to put the used actuator that we got from the salvage yard in here. And you got two screws on the back of the actuator, uh, one here and one here. Okay, I pulled the actuator and a micro switch was locked in back there. So I'll show you how this stuff goes back together. Okay, that's the micro switch locked in place. Now I'm going to route the wires and screw the actuator back on. That's how the tip of that latch goes in the throw. And you got two screws on the back of the actuator. Uh, one here and one here that secures the actuator against the mechanism. So the micro switch is in there. The actuator's in, it's got a pin there. The plug is trapped on the bottom here. So now we can reinstall the latch and put the, uh, the levers back together. Now the two screws that screw in the bottom of the panel have those nuts there. Be careful if those nuts fall out that you put them back in the way they are there. So you got one on this side and one on this side. After you have the actuator, in place you go ahead and put the cover back on so that uh, it protects the assembly and mechanism and stuff there okay i set the latch in place i put the screw there the screw there and the screw there so now i got to get these actuating arms back in the right positions all right the arm there that's on the white holder i just pulled that out and pushed it aside when I pulled the latch out. The other arm, it goes in that top hole and it comes up over here and gets locked into that white pin with this little lever that holds it in place. Now there's one more little latch thing that goes in that lower hole. Let me grab that and show you where it goes. That one is part of the handle latch. So when I set this in place to screw it up there, I gotta make sure that this pin is in that lower hole. Now I have the hand handle in place, two 10 millimeter bolts, and that pin goes in that bottom hole in that latch assembly. So now this is all back together and it should be working. So we're gonna go ahead and test it and I did plug the wire harness in there. Okay, we just closed the rear hatch and we're gonna see if the latch works. It will not let me open it by pulling on it. I pull it with the latch, it does open. I let it go, it won't pull open. So it is working like it's supposed to so far manually. He's gonna unlock the car with this. Hey, keep right here first. Stick the key in there. And we're going to unlock it clockwise, unlock, and it unlocked the door. You can see the door lock up there. Let me go ahead and zoom in. And when I lock it back here with the key, it locked the car. So it should work when he goes and locks the car door. All right, go ahead, man. Right now, I'm going to open the hatch so you can see that it, it unlocks. Now he's going to lock it up there at the driver's door. Now I'm going to try to open the hatch back here. And it does not unlock back here. Now he's going to unlock it up there at the driver's door. And it works back here again. So we're good to go. Somebody busted the actuator and destroyed it. And now we've replaced it. I think that thing only costs like $7 at the salvage yard. Uh, you probably have to purchase a whole latch from the junkyard to get that fixed. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone 
or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.